Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, help us to see today an aspect of your word, a deeper truth, something that really confronts who we are and where we're going, maybe encourages us in things we've been doing that we're not sure of, in the way we've been living our life and the way we've been praising you, in the things we see in the worship life of our churches. Lord, help us to know what what brings you glory, what, what's really praising you. And Lord, help us to set aside those things that we're using to glorify ourselves. And too often, Lord, we admit that when we open your word or we go to worship or we gather for studies and programs, we're often seeking about what we can get out of this. And so we ask, Lord, for a, a more right spirit, a spirit that is, that is keen on what we can give to the experience, what we can give to others, what we can share, what we can show about our faith. And yes, Lord, that we know that's going to make us vulnerable. And it's hard to be vulnerable, especially when that ministry and that mission puts us in the company of strangers or calls us to be with our nearest and dearest. Both can be very awkward times for sharing our faith and admitting what we believe, admitting what we don't understand. So Lord, grant us a humble spirit too that is able to take those moments and those encounters and really give a blessing. Let us also be a blessing for those who are unwell. We pray for the sick. We pray for those who are struggling with their life's conditions. We pray for those who are poor and are too proud to allow people to praise you by receiving and, and sharing and help that is given. Lord, bless and watch over them to do what is right, to be what is right in helping us serve together and reminding us that as long as there are people that are struggling, our communities will falter. Our, our congregations will struggle to realize their potential. Lord, if we're not addressing people's needs and not really caring and engaging them where they're at, and so, Lord, help us not to be judgmental about things that the rest of the world judges and puts down. But grant us mercy and grant us grace to offer mercy and to offer grace. That all we say and do will honor, glorify, and praise you. This in Christ we pray. Amen. And turning in God's word today, we turn to the book of Obadiah in its first chapter. And reading at... Verse 7, all your allies will force you to the border. Your friends will deceive and overpower you. And those who eat your bread will set a trap for you, but you will not detect it. Oh, that's a harsh thing to hear. And it's a necessary thing to hear too. That Sometimes those people we consider our best friends, our dearest friends, our peers, those that are supposed to have our back, that we have entrusted with our faith, betray us. And really, they betray themselves when they do that. They betray the faith themselves. And we are left in a vulnerable situation. We are left without the resources we shared with them. We are feel overpowered. We might be marginalized. We may be persecuted. And it's sure, it's not the kind of persecution that might lead to death or prison, but it is a persecution, certainly among friends, especially when it's family and, and those who are dearest to us. When we are betrayed or we are denied in our faith and we are uh, set aside because we believe, and, and it is a, is a terrible feeling, it's a hard feeling. Obadiah was talking to the people of Israel because they had put their trust in wrong friends and didn't do enough to discern what nations would be a help where their blessings would come from, and how they could be a blessing to others. We need to be cautious, but we still need to care. We need to engage. And we might be the blessing God calls us to be. So may God bless and keep you. Amen.